Hi everyone, this is Sultan with Rex Theme, and in this video, I'll show you how you can remove HTML tags or short codes from your product description in your product feed. So let's get started. Now, as you can see, I'm on my dashboard and I have Product Feed Manager for WooCommerce installed and activated. When you have that, you'll find uh, this dashboard menu called Product Feed uh, right over here. Okay. So now what we are going to show you today is that sometimes in your products, you have used short codes or maybe certain HTML tags, which you cannot submit to certain marketplaces. For example, Google doesn't accept if you submit product feed with product description that has HTML tags. Let me show you what I mean. Okay. So let's say this is one of my products. And when I edit that in my description, you can see I have this HTML P tags, which are basically paragraphs. And I have a shortcut right over here, uh, which is also in the description. Now we have options in the plugin Product Feed Manager for WooCommerce where you can actually avoid uh, including these tags or this short code in your product feed. Now this is not just for Google. There are several marketplaces which have different rules. Some of them will not accept short codes. Some of them will not accept HTML tags and some of them does not accept either of them at all. So I'm going to show you how you can uh, generate a product feed by removing uh, both of them or maybe one of them if you need to. So let me just show you how. So now uh, first click on add new feed to create a new feed. And it will take me to this page where you're creating a blank product feed. Name it test. And uh, skip this extra options here because right now I'm just focused on showing you how to remove HTML tags and uh, short codes, okay? So choose the merchant as Google Shopping. And once I do that, uh, as you know, all my required attributes will appear over here. And in most cases, these are already configured. I have to just assign values for one or two of the values. For example, in case of Google, I need to assign an MPN and a Google product category. But for this video, I'm not going to assign them. I'm just going to leave them as is. I'm just going to focus on showing you what you need to do if you want to remove those HTML tags or short codes from the description to know how to uh, assign a value for Google product category or what to do when you don't have an MPN. You can watch one of my previous videos where I've explained that already. All right. So now, as you can see, these are all the product attributes uh, that are going to be included in the feed. And these are basically values extracted from your common store. So for product description, it's pulling out the product description of your actual products. OK, so now if I just generate this feed, Let's say I'm going to click on publish and you can see that the feed is being generated. And once the feed is generated, let me just view it. And the product I was looking at is Polo T-shirt. So let me just search for that uh, in that feed. So I'll just use command F to search for that. And this is Polo T-shirt. And you can see in the description tag in my XML feed, I have this P tags, which are HTML tags included here. And I have the short code over here. Okay. So now let me just show you the different options I have here. All right. So when I'm going back to editing the product feed for your description on the very right side, you see, there's this uh, column called output sanitization. Now this is what uh, you can use to manipulate the values in your attributes in different ways. Okay. So today I'm going to show you how you can remove either HTML tags or short codes or both. Okay. So click on this default option and it will give you a drop down menu here. Look for the options strip tags. Okay. So if you select strip tags, this is going to remove all HTML tags from the description. Let me just show you. Okay. I've selected strip tags and I'm going to scroll up and click on update. And once the feed is generated, view the feed again and look for the product uh, I was looking at, which is Polo T-shirts. And you can see in the description now, there are no HTML tags, but the shortcode is there. All right. So the strip tags option is there just to remove HTML tags uh, from your attribute value. All right. So if you use that for the description, it's going to remove the tags from your description attribute. If you use it in any other attribute where there is HTML tags, you can just choose strip tags as this output sanitization and uh, the tags will be removed. Now let me go back to the feed 
and if I click on this again, instead of strip tags, I can find more options. You'll find another option called remove shortcodes. Select that. Now, if you choose remove shortcodes, any shortcodes in your product description will be removed in the feed. All right. So let me just scroll up and press update to show you that the shortcode was removed. Now, as you can see, the feed is generated. Uh, let me just view the feed and look for the same product. And you can see HTML tags is there, but the shortcode at the end is not there. I'll show you what shortcode I'm talking about. This is the product I'm uh, generating the feed for. And you can see this is the shortcode I had in the description, but in the feed, I don't have that. Uh, you can see this is the description. There are the P tags, but the shortcode is not there. All right. So that's how you remove shortcodes from your feed. Now, there is another option that I want to show you. Uh, if I just go back to the feed and instead of choosing remove shortcodes, I can find another option called remove shortcodes and strip tags, right? So what this one does is this one can remove both HTML tags and shortcodes from your product attribute data, all right? So since this is for the product description, uh, the output sanitization is remove shortcodes and strip tags. It means if there are any HTML tags or shortcodes within the product description, they shall be removed, all right? So let me just scroll up and click on update. And once the feed is generated, let me just view the feed again. And here I'll be looking for the same product. And once I get there, you can see there are no HTML tags in this product description and the short code in the end is not there as well. Okay, so that's it. That's how easily you can remove HTML tags and short codes uh, from any product attribute in Product Feed Manager for WooCommerce. All right, so this is really helpful for different marketplaces with their own rules. So do make sure you know what is accepted and what is not in the marketplace before trying out using this output sanitization because certain marketplaces do require you to submit HTML tags uh, to set up structure of the data, all right? So I hope this video is helpful to you. In case you get confused or face any issues, you can always reach out to our support team and we will assist you, okay? So thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in one of my next videos. Take care.